Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about a life cycle of a list applets PM and PR. So when the list applet loads for the first time, the init function in the presentation model will get called. In this function, uh, we are adding all the properties that are required um, for further usage for example i'm getting the list of columns and storing it in a property i make use of it uh, in the jq grid renderer where i'll get all the column information and uh, prepare the grid actual jq grid that you see the list applet so here i can add properties that store the information of the applet I can override the methods. For example, if I drag and drop records from one applet to other, like in an MVG, it will create a new record. And um, we can customize a lot of vanilla methods. So for example, on sorting, on the sorting of a list column, we send a we call a function and send the property set as the input and it sorts the record. So this is what Siebel is doing by default. This is the vanilla PM that, that is taking care of all the actions. So th this binds up all the behavior of the applet, uh, like what action to do on sort, what action to do on click of the menu, uh, because uh, on click of the menu uh, icon, it will fetch the uh, it will call the menu pm and pr which gets all the menu related information from our server so all the uh, all the methods all the actions that the applet does will get associated from this init function which again adds more functions uh, in this file after init, we have set, set up function, which has uh, a property set as an input. It has all the applet related information in the property set. The setup function uh, will get all the information and it will set up the uh, applet property set based on the, um, based on the input it receives. In a setup method, we can add uh, more list columns if you want. We can uh, remove a list column, like delete it, uh, and we will not show it at all in the UI, even though if it is present in the uh, applet definition, that can be done in the setup method from this property set. So after this, after setup method, init method of the renderer file will get called. So in init method, we can attach the uh, PM uh, binding event. For example, a particular pro property is set in the PM and uh, that will call a function in the PR. For example, if I go to query mode on the applet, this particular property will be set and the applet will look uh, something like a list with uh, editable columns, with just empty columns. So that uh, look and feel will be created from this function. This is the function that will take care of the look and feel of uh, the applet on query mode. So, this init function will associate all the events from the PM and um, after the init function is called, it will call the show UI function. Now, if you look at it, the applet is not present in the UI at all. The show UI function will build the frame that holds the actual data. So, post show UI execute you will be able to see a frame 
after this uh, show you a method it calls the bind events so all the events that uh, the applet will handle uh, will be binded to the controls in this function so let me bind it after bind events still the data is actually not present in the ui we have the uh, column model of what columns will be available in the ui but the columns actual column data is not filled that column data will be uh, added to the ui using this bind data method so once bind data is done we are all set the data is actually present in the ui we can even uh, look at the loop that it runs in the bind data so if you look at this this is the function that actually adds the uh, data to the ui so we get the particular record information so get record we get the record information this is for uh, language translation for multilingual applications and it will add the raw data based on the condition to the ui and it will go to the next record so the loop also can be observed here and if you look at this function uh, this functions use a lot of property sets uh, that we get from the pm so like i said we have the function here pm dot get list of columns so the list of columns that uh, the uh, list applet holds is set in the column set in the property here so this is the property and this property will get reused again in the renderer all the job that renderer does is it gets all the information from the pm pr doesn't hold any data the pm holds the properties and uh, the behavior information and pm pr doesn't hold any data it gets everything from the pm we always see this dot get pm dot uh, get functions only in pr so from the from the PM it gets all the information that it requires to build the UI of the applet and on leaving this particular applet going into another view you will be uh, it will call the end life function so the end life function will delete any any objects that we create uh, will not be touching much on end life function I'll give you an example uh, in my further videos. So I hope this help, helps you to identify where to customize and which function to customize while using a PM and PR.